What's up guys, did you ever want to know how much money a small YouTuber with less than 10k subs actually makes? Well, you've come to the right place. I've been monetized for a few months now and I will show you the exact numbers you're looking for. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So guys, here we are in the background. You can already see I have 3.6k subscribers at the moment. And I just want to point out, this is not going to be one of those fake videos where the eventual number is blurred out, but we need to make sure you understand what you see in the end because the number varies from country and audience. So for you to understand how much money you could make if you wanted to go into YouTube, we need to explain these things first. And the first thing right here is, I got a whole new account here, is that when you go on the monetization tab in your YouTube studio, there's this graphic here and it says you need to have these four steps completed first. Two of them are very easy. Two-step verification is just have your phone number or a backup like email, something like that is very conventional. And the other is have zero active community guideline strikes, pretty self-explanatory because because you just have to follow the guidelines and then you're not going to get any strikes. And then the third one is have 1000 subscribers. They actually lowered this from 10k to 1k a while ago. In order for you to get an idea how long it takes to get 1000 subscribers, I dug up this page here and it says 15.5 months to get 1164 videos. This is on average. Obviously, you can get it with a lot of dedication way earlier. I did it in like five to six months from the scratch, by the way. I taught myself everything from editing to making thumbnails to producing these videos, get a retention that works and stuff. So now the last thing, and that is what I struggled the most with as well, is 4,000 watch hours. This basically makes sure you don't just buy 1,000 subscribers and then try to get monetized. You also need to have your videos actually being watched. It needs to be public videos. So if you have a good video and you put it on private for whatever reason afterwards, it's not going to count towards those public watch hours. And also shorts from the shorts feed don't count. If your subscribers click on it in their browse feed on the browser, obviously, it's going to count. But since they are less than one minute, it's not going to do too much. So shorts basically don't count. Now, as we move over to my main channel here, I can show you why I struggled with this in the beginning. I'm a Rocket League channel who is focused on news. And my initial breakthrough a little bit into the scene was with very short videos, like explaining why Rocket League is struggling to be a tier one esport in under 90 second or the new team liquid roster in under 90 seconds you know that was basically my deal that kind of got me into the scene you can see my average view duration right here is like less than two minutes so i would have needed a couple of thousand views to get to this threshold of 4k hours and finally get monetized because i had the 1000 subscribers actually first and then just needed the hours and then you can see as my audience requested it, by the way, I would have probably gone all the way like this. Uh, they were like, why don't you try a little bit more of an open format and talk a little bit more about this stuff. And then I finally got a little bit more hours. And you can see that there's a trend going upwards. And this right here is just to show you that it's not quite as easy as it might sound to get these metrics down and get monetized. But once you got it, you're going to apply for the partner program. They're going to put you in most likely. I never heard of anyone who didn't get accepted. And then you can start earning money. And before we go to the actually real numbers here, I need to clarify the last two things. The first one is the money you get per niche is different. You get paid per a thousand views. So revenue per mil, mil thousand, right? And that determines how much money you're going to get at the end. And this varies from niche and target audience. For example, Minecraft YouTube was have really, really low revenue per mil because their target audience is not very solvent. It's mostly underage kids who don't have a lot of money to throw around and therefore the ad is a little bit wasted basically. This then is why Minecraft YouTubers most of the time get less than $2 per thousand views. However, there are niches on the other hand that pay way more like marketing or finance who operate at $20 upwards on 1000 views. So you gotta take this into account and gaming obviously always fluctuates between like $1 and $4. So you could already make up your mind a little bit how much it's gonna be. But the last thing now that is really the last thing before we go to the actual numbers is that there's something called mid-roll ads. And YouTube, if you go to this monetized thing, I put up a draft here for a video that when you enable the ads, right, you can decide what kind of ads you want to have. Overlay ads, sponsored cards, skippable video ads, non-skippable, and then the location of video. And before and after is basically normal. But when your video is longer than eight minutes, you are allowed to have a mid-roll ad. And since you get paid per thousand views, 
on an ad, a video that is longer than eight minutes, could have a viewer potentially look at three ads in the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. And the video that is less than eight minutes doesn't have mid roll, could only have him at two max if he watches all the way, obviously. So you gotta take that into account. The longer your videos, the more ads you can show per video and then your revenue per mil goes up. <laughs> of course, you still gotta make sure then that your video is watched all the way because otherwise it's kind of pointless. You can't just upload a one hour video and if the people just watch 20 seconds of it, you're not even gonna reach the point of the first mid roll. So yeah, now that we got all these things out of the way, you can finally process what you're about to see. And those are my metrics, how much money I made. In the last 28 days, those were almost $500 with my Rocket League channel. I therefore currently have a solid income stream. You can see it on the daily. It's about 15 bucks. And this is also due. You can see it. This marks a video that I post. And once we got to this point about 20 days ago, I went on a streak of uploading at least a video a day. So this gave me plenty of more views. I realized that there currently is the Rocket League offseason. The videos are very popular and i went on a streak and put in the work um, to get these out and you can also see that my rpm is higher than two dollars fortunately even though most of my videos are less than eight minutes long so i could make even more money and if we take a look at my 90 days this was the day i got monetized and you can see in the beginning i only made like three to five dollars a day and then my channel got a lot of traction because of set off season and now it's very stable at like 15 to 20 bucks a day the revenue per mill is currently going up because in the beginning i did like whatever uh, a little bit of prediction videos and now that i have these roster news they are stacked with information from the beginning to the very end so a lot of people watch all of it up to 70 percent watch an entire six or seven minute video which is pretty good i'm currently making more money than i would if i would just make playing rocket league videos i could probably bump these numbers up even more to get to like three dollars because you can see it here this video for example was almost 11 minutes and it has an rpm of three dollars as i said mid roll ad kind of op gets you to the threshold and a video that is six and a half minutes has only 2.87 almost the three minute though because you can see the engagement is very good 66 percent viewed on a six minute video is fairly decent but you always got to take into account that if this retention here drops the algorithm kind of realizes that the audience thinks this video is boring and not gonna put it out to a lot of people so as i said earlier you can't just make a one hour video it needs to be somewhat interesting and have a good retention otherwise it's pointless so this gives you an idea how everything works how a channel like mine works how many views you actually need to make money because if you got what you expected when you clicked on this video please subscribe to the channel would mean a lot to me i'm currently trying to reach 4k subs before october so it would be awesome if you subscribe now that's gonna be it for today i hope you have a great rest of your week and i'll see you guys next time